Well, here we are in, in the workshop again. Seems like I'm here off and on. I don't stick to it too often, but you know, a couple hours a day here and there when I'm not doing anything else. But uh, over here, I got the cabinets. I got all the drawers made and stained and urethane. Uh, and now I'm in the process of building these doors. And they're going to be half-inch overlay doors. In other words, they're going to hang over the rails here and the styles a half-inch. And the hinges will be hidden hinges on the inside. So this is what I cut. I measured all the doors. I have the, all the rails and styles cut. There's ten doors I'm, I'm building. Uh, these are called the styles. These are the cross pieces, which fit like that. And these longer pieces are the rails. So I, I measured all the doors, and this is the measurement of all the doors with the half-inch overlay. And I had to subtract when I'm making the styles I have to subtract the width of these rails which is five inches total and then I have to add three quarters of an inch because this cut fits will fit into a groove which will be on the on the rails and that fits in like three-eighths of an inch so I've done a bunch of them but I just wanted to show you I got the router set up and I just wanted to show you, I'll do a couple more just to show you. It's a noisy process. It's a, it's a little time consuming to get the router set up with the equipment. Uh, it's pretty, pretty tricky. But. Now, why do you do it this way? Is it to give like a raised panel look or? This, this will be uh, what I'm doing. Or locks it in. Uh, what I'm gonna do is make a flat pan. In other words, oh, the nice. rails will have this design and this groove on it. Okay. And I'm using this uh, center bead as, a, as the flat panel. So that'll go, you know, the width of the door. And uh, so that's basically what it'll look like, you know, eventually. Nice. So right now I'll show you how I routed the styles with that uh, with that bead on the well, not a bead but a, that design on the ends this is noisy so I have to put on my sure even though I'm deaf I still have to put on my ear protection <laughs> and I uh, use a vacuum cleaner here to suck out, you know, the chips and stuff. So it's going to be noisy. So put your oh, ear protection Yeah, I'll on cover this up. Home. Put your ear protection on.
Just a nice little cut, a little sandpaper to clean up the edges and stuff before you assemble it, of course. And uh, so the next thing I will do is to, after I get these all ends all done, I will set up the router to do the rails and also the styles to make that that uh, groove and, and design on them. So that'll be the next lesson. Uh, <laughs> but uh, it's a little time consuming uh, just to set up stuff and but I got nothing but time. So. <laughs> Good rainy day weather. This is for yeah. uh, for doing this type of project, right? It's, uh, it looks like it's going to be a couple rainy days here. Yeah. So maybe maybe I should be starting to build a boat or something. <laughs> no good. An ark. You know. Yeah. yeah. So how do the, the drawers work? Pretty good, you said. The drawers work great. Yeah, that's you know, awesome. Roll a slide. And, yeah, and, and you stain uh, those and everything. Stain, urethane it. On the stain, I like the stain. You know, there was hot. Well, I, I couldn't find cured and pine oil base stain anymore. Yeah. And one of our viewers, I guess I've mentioned this previously, uh, was so gracious in, in sending us some water base cured and pine. Yeah. And I found it a little tricky on on uh, doing the staining. I use a foam brush to put it on. I tried a regular bristle brush, didn't like it, didn't, and uh, I tried a rag, you know, but I found the foam brush to work the best. And, you know, you have to work quite quickly because if you have any overlay you know so you do this and you accidentally overlay something you've already stained uh, you have to do it in a short period of time otherwise you get a different streak or different color where you got you know an overlay of, of stain but <clears throat> it's a learning process and I think they came out pretty well uh, I was pleased uh, I was pleased to honestly find <laughs> find the stain yeah, yeah that was I so like, cool i like that stain were you surprised when you got it in the mail yeah sure was. <laughs> that yeah, was awesome. that was really cool huge yeah, thank you my viewers are awesome by <laughs> far the best yeah and then you got this one ready pretty much right this one's ready. Oh, just needs the door and uh let me let me uh I'll just take this off i want to just show you what I've done. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to show everybody the joints here and how tight everything is. And you got these recessed screws. Even did the insides of the drawers. Those are all lacquered and everything. Pretty, pretty sweet. And that's how you put the, the slides in right there. Those are mounted and recessed. Whoa, so this, this is my is, favorite part. This is the. Uh, cutting board countertop which is going on this cabinet. Wow, that is so cool. And this cabinet will sit next to the stove will be on one side of it. That is so cool. So, Butcher block. Yeah, that's uh, maple. Something that we milled out on the sawmill and it's been sitting in the barn. We were going to make axe handles out of it. Yeah. And uh, we still have some to make axe yeah. handles, but I had to use some of it. I like the different colorations in it. It's really and, pretty. Uh, I think it's really pretty. You it know, came out great. I, I would hate to have to cut, you know, fresh homemade bread on it. Yeah. You know, like, and make a slice mark <laughs> on it with the nail. Oh, my God. The trouble is we're not going to cut on it like <laughs> because of that. I know. But, hey, yeah. it looks great. It looks great. Yeah, and yeah. it's a great idea, great concept and everything. So, I mean, that's a beautiful, beautiful cabinet piece. Yeah. I'll step back so, so the viewers can see it at home. Obviously, it doesn't have the door on it now, but that's going to be right next to the oven, Yeah. like on the left of the oven, I believe. Right, yeah, we'll have pots and pans in there. Pots and pans, pots and uh, down you know, bottom. spatulas and stuff. Cooking yeah, stuff. You know, cooking, you know, we'd use on the stove and the Yeah, beautiful. Drawer, so. Yeah, and then this'll this wall will be visible, right? Right. Yeah. 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 That is awesome. Yeah. 
Absolutely awesome, Donnie. You've been working so hard on this stuff. And well, not really. Well, it you know, it, it's time consuming, but, uh, you know, I can work at my own pace. I'm not pressured into getting it done. At yeah. least you haven't started to pressure me. <laughs> you got till, but it, when, I don't know. You when got the till. roads open up and <laughs> yeah. mud season is over, you'll probably start pressuring me. I think we're going to have about five mud seasons. What it do you is. think? It's unreal. Yeah. yeah it's unreal. Yeah, no, there's absolutely no pressure at all. I mean, I still got, there's so much more work to do up to camp. Yeah, yeah. yeah this will be amazing to have. Yeah. That's going to make life up there just oh, awesome. Oh, heaven countertop. Is, yeah. We really need countertop. Yeah. And uh, and we got got quite a bit of it. We got a, I got a cabinet downstairs that's 11 feet long, so that's going to be all countertop. Yeah. And a sink cut in it. So, yeah, things are coming together a little bit yeah little and then bit sure. this one looks beautiful too yeah so what do you 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 do need to do quite a few doors don't you yeah there's 10 doors wow have, holy so. cow yeah that's yeah. a lot of work oh. and you still want me to stay the heck out of your way well what you get, yeah, right <laughs> just come around for the heavy get, lifting don't get underfoot <laughs> just come around for the heavy lifting right, yeah yeah <laughs> I'm good at demolition, but not <laughs> yeah, quite we as gotta, good as... what we got to do is lug this one down. Yeah. And uh, Matt's, this is going to be at right angles to the 11 foot section. Okay. So I got to, I got to mate the two and be sure they mate okay. And, and uh, I may have to do a little modification. I don't know, but hopefully not. And uh, it's got to be a little bit of a challenge building. Two parts that go together on different floors. Right, yeah. In different places. Yeah, trying to figure how they're just going to mate. Okay, but we'll see how well I did. I may have to get out the safer saw or something. <laughs> I doubt it. I think it's going <laughs> to go together just perfect, knowing uh, how the, the work you've been doing. Yeah. So anyway, it's a work in progress as usual. Yep. And, uh, I'm and, I, and I like to do this particular cut first a cross grain cut because the other ones sometimes if you did this one first and this one second sometimes this chips out you know doing the cross grain okay you get a little chip out of it so uh doing it this way if you do take a chip out of it usually the other cutter will you know, the way it's shaped will, will take out the chip so you don't mm. see any. And I notice you like to have the, the V cut on the same side on both ends and the square cut on the same side on both ends. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I've done projects sure. like this before where I get <laughs> the opposite <laughs> and you got to throw that piece away. Yeah. So I guess that's it in a nutshell for right now. And uh, when I get set up... Uh, I got a few more of these. I got four more of these to do on the router, and then I'll change the bit, and we'll do the uh, the other cut. So now with that other cut, you don't you're not doing the ends on the other cut, or you are? No, the the no, ends stay. These yeah. will be flat. Yeah. Uh, so you're just doing like the recess yeah. for the right here for the panel, right. like like this for the panel to slide in. But this. Uh, this is how oh, nice. it goes together. I, I always keep this because when I'm setting up uh, to do this, mm -hmm. this is a good guide, you know, in my adjustment on the on the router. So that's basically what it's going to look like. That that fits into that. That is pretty that cool. Is and this this piece will obviously have this cut on it also. Okay, yeah, and then that, and that that's where this slides in, right? Right, yeah. Yeah, yeah that slides, slides in, in into like that right groove, there. and then yeah, it'll lock it'll into that. It'll be there, too. Cool, the... so, so we can kind of start to envision how this door is going to look, and we'll come back and shoot a video for, for the folks at home once we can start doing some door assemblies. Right, and yeah. what I use for door assemblies on the clamps that I use, I use these two clamps, uh, and what... I'll, and I'll show you more once I do the assembly. These clamp it not only flat, but they keep everything flat and they and they force it together. 
Okay. You know, they, they clamp this way and they clamp this way at the same time. Gotcha. So it keeps the door flat as, as you're assembling it. It won't buckle or, or warp right. or anything. Right. So. Yeah, those are cool clamps. Yeah, yeah this will be, this is such an awesome project, Donnie. It's, it's looking amazing. It's better than anything we could buy. I know that. Well, about that they have some pretty fancy stuff out there yeah but the fact that you're making it makes it way more valuable to me <laughs> yeah it, it's yeah. yeah i think you know trying to do this stuff yourself is is good you know? yeah. and what would you give any advice to people trying to do something like this at home where they're trying to build cabinets or or anything like that well it, you know it, it takes a little thinking you know to design them lay them out uh jesus it, it's i've been doing it for quite a while you know not steadily so every time i do it it's, it's i have to really think. it's like starting over it's again really, yeah almost yeah not quite as bad but almost would you tell people just to be patient think yeah, it out you gotta be patient take your time and, and you may screw up things you know yeah. but but that's a part of the learning process and, yeah uh, but it's worth it. I mean, it's gonna, it's gonna be awesome, you know, for for us to say, look, Donnie built these, and it'll be great for you to say I built these, and then, and then just to, to look at it, you know, while it's up north, it's just amazing. I just love this top right yeah, here. Yeah, I know it. That's people are gonna Wouldn't go nuts be over that. To have that on all the it would be, but <laughs> oh my god, we don't have enough maple. No, we don't have god. enough maple for that. No, but. or enough time. Yeah. Yep. But uh, now it, it's. It's uh, been going together pretty well. Yep. And then I'm, I'm on the hook for the next project to do the beds. Right. Donnie yeah. and I stopped at a cedar at a cedar place, and, man, we got quoted just ridiculous money for those Unreal. poles. Unreal. So I think we probably will end up going up north and cutting our cedar ourselves. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, just making them. Bed yeah. Stock. We're going to have to. Yeah. But Wayne said he had cutters, you know, where you join in cross pieces. Yes, uh, Ryan told me Ryan, he had some, yeah. Yeah, yeah they got uh, yeah. cutters for that. Yeah, we'll just make sure it's the right size inches-wise. Right, yeah. 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 So. Sweet. Well, looking great up here, Donnie. Looks, yeah. uh, the project's coming right along, and yeah. I'm excited the, to see the, the next step. The is still here, you know. <laughs> the, I, it would take me probably a couple of weeks to straighten it all out, and I should be doing that. No, then, you got enough but, to you got enough on your plate. But it, right now, I'm not going to do it, obviously. Yeah. But uh, it's, well, hopefully someday I will. We're uh, I don't know if I should tell you guys this or not, but Donnie and I are getting ready to go to lunch with uh with Wayne and Barbara Cunningham. It's one of our favorite lunches. It's a wicked secret, so we can't tell them everything. But <laughs> we might not find a seat if we I know, I gotta be I gotta be a little careful, but a lot of my viewers aren't close. Yeah. But we go to this lunch that the school puts on. It's kinda like a Votech, would you call right, it? A like that's what yeah, we used to call it, it but now yeah. they probably have a different name for it. Yeah. But it's high school kids that are interested in restaurants, culinary arts, cooking, baking um entrepreneurship stuff like that right and they have other you know they have carpentry uh, oh they, they it's also amazing have diesel mechanic stuff you know the school's amazing it's a wide variety of oh yeah you know different things that they teach and a great school it's, it's great amazing school. school it's it's amazing yeah i wish right. i wish that it was more accessible when i was in high school to be yeah. honest with you yeah. it, was a, yeah. it was a lot different story when i was in high school right yeah, when I was there, obviously we didn't have them, but we did have a woodworking shop. Yeah, and did you do I, that? I did that for uh, my freshman year. We had like an orientation. I took a college course. Yeah, and we had an orientation of one third of the year we would do, say, typing, and one third would would do woodworking. Uh, build something simple. I think I built a gun rack. Or something. <laughs> nice. And, uh, uh, you know, so that was great, and but uh, kids that were in, they called it the general course, you know, they would do more advanced, say, woodworking, yeah, if they were interested in that. And uh, so they didn't have the Votex schools like they have now, and but these Votex, oh my god, they're really amazing. awesome, really awesome, yeah. So we're heading to lunch with the program that does all the culinary arts, and they do a different 
country per week, right? Per right. week. I think it's like five weeks. Yeah. Or something they they pick different countries. And yeah. You said Spain. Yeah, food, Spanish food, this week. Food from Spain. Right? Yeah. So the kids get to learn like a really cool, um, different and, culture yeah, on how to cook. Of Type different cooking. Yeah, and we and we get to go eat it. Yeah, <laughs> we're the That's taste the testers yeah. and the food. Tell them how good the food was last year. Well, it's hard to explain how good it yeah. was. Yeah, it was doggone. And good. if you leave hungry, it's your own fault. And they don't have just one dish. You know, they have a right like several different buffet. Dishes, yeah, like buffet type thing and and desserts and it is. I can't say enough good about it yeah so good. and for me like honestly the best part for me is seeing the kids like so excited to be at school you know yeah. like those kids are so excited to be there at school doing a program yeah. and then cooking and making something with their bear with their own hands um that other people get to enjoy because they're there they they help like do the serving and yeah. you know they get but, a lot of feedback i mean the tables are all set up mm -hmm. individually with with cloth yeah, tops and you know it's done up really nicely. Yeah, and not to get like political or anything, but I'm I'm a big fan of kids, of looking at the learning and the education system, and looking there's there's other ways to do it than just sitting behind a desk with a book and you know yeah. when you see these kids get that excited to like go to school and do something and it's their passion and something that they want to do later in life and they're getting to do it like at age fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Yeah. That just it really Wonderful. is cool. So. Yeah. Not only is it a great meal and we have a great time and we go with great friends, but but it's uh, it's great to see like these kids doing yeah. something awesome like that. And I think one of your yeah kids that one of my your scoop uh, is in that program. Yeah, one of my employees is doing. I'm excited to see her and yeah. and um, she's got the passion for it. She's had it her whole life. Oh my gosh, I can remember uh, Bobby and I would go up there and she would have baked goods. Yeah. You know, set up and sell baked goods when she was really young. Yeah. And uh, so she's always had an inclination for doing that. And yeah. That I'm excited. Yeah. So I wish I could film there for you guys, but obviously um, we're not allowed to like film in a school setting or for, or for anything like that. And, right. Yeah. And we don't want to, we don't want to blow up the spot because it's hard to get a ticket sometimes. Yeah, for, and I probably have blown right. it up right now. And yeah. Wayne and Barbara are going to be so mad at me <laughs> if they can't get in. <laughs> yeah. And you find a lot of elderly people yeah. like, like me, not yeah. like you, but like me yeah. going there because it's, it's a, you know, it's, it's, an it's event. a cheap lunch and it's, yeah. and it's so good and it's so good to taste different, different, uh, types of food yeah and it's an event like it's a it's a good part of the day and yeah conversation will be good and i'm excited i'm excited to go this is the first one of this year right yeah yeah and i i don't know if it's every week it's every we week go. and they're doing it like two or three days a week yeah right at least two days a week yeah 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 so. we're gonna miss one i think the indian one we're gonna miss the Indian food. I, I think I'm kind of glad we're missing that <laughs> one. I, I have eaten Indian food one time, yeah, but it wasn't my cup of tea. No, you know, I, I the spices or something about it, I just didn't yeah. go for. But last year they did. It wasn't just countries either. They did like a New England. Right. Remember that? Yeah. Where it was like yeah. that was a good one. Yeah. And yeah, no, it's it's great. Yep, yeah. and then we'll come back and either. Watch some women's basketball. No, I guess yeah, there is no. Men are on today. Yeah, yeah. some, some March Madness. Yeah. So yeah. They, uh... Who's your pick for the women's, Donnie? I know you. I know well, you. You've watched the women's basketball I, for years. I love Connecticut. I've always loved Connecticut. Yeah. Uh, I. You think I, any, I you... would like to see them in the Final Four? I don't think that they can beat South Carolina. The, South Carolina has been a real powerhouse the yeah. last two well several years but connecticut was in that position at one time too and yeah and uh gino the coach has uh been at the been in this tournament for years and years and years i, yeah. mean, I mean he's won been national champion several times yeah with teams and uh I don't think they have the team to compete, but I'm gonna actually go with UConn too. Yeah. I like UConn. I like you. I think um, I think South Carolina is gonna do it. I'd like to see Iowa in there too. Yeah. You know, with the yeah, with the Clark girl. Right. She's 
but, fantastic. Coach. But it's you've got to have a team to win. Yeah. It's not, you know. And, you know, in, in this kind of a tournament, any team can win at yeah. any given time. I yeah. mean, they're all so good. And yeah. If they have an exceptional game and the opponent yeah. is off a little bit, they, you know, there's some upsets. All it takes is a hiccup. Because yeah. I think it's uh, LSU and UCLA are going against each other next. Yeah, that and will be a good game. Either one who wins that could right. win it all, too. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's. It's a good tournament. Yes. Uh, so, so, so I think the men are playing today. I don't think yeah, I think you're right. Playing. I think the women are like this weekend yeah. or something. Yeah. Yep. And then but plenty of... But men are, are right up there. That's they, my they, pick. That's my pick for the men's. Yeah, they yeah. they were, got a heck of a program. Yeah, I like... You know who I like in the men's? I don't know if you've been watching a lot of the men's. Is that North Carolina State? Oh, yeah. They got this guy. He's got, like, a glasses, big geeky-looking, big gobby guy. He's slow, but he's so good. Yeah. But he's so good at passing. I like watching those guys. They beat Cincinnati the other day by um, by just, like, a bucket or two at the end. It was an awesome yeah. game. It went back and forth. But, yeah. But I like that team. I'd love to see them, but I think it's going to be UConn again. Yeah. I mean, North Carolina's up there for the yeah. fans, and they always have a pretty good team, too. But. Yeah. But this is, that's about the extent of uh, of my basketball watching. You know, I've watched basketball for years, but I, I do like the Final Four and yeah, me too. seeing the college kids I, do well. I definitely like college better than pros. I mean, yeah, personally. I can't even watch pros. Yeah. I can't even watch it. No. Uh, but anyway, it's a lot of, it seems like a lot of showboating in pros. I, yeah. You know, that's just my take on no, it. No, it is. You know, I'm, I know there's a lot of fans <laughs> out there, and, and they're super players, but... yeah. Uh, college seems to be college. It doesn't matter who you are. You could be on the bench in a second if you don't hustle. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's a little different caliber of play. Yeah. You know, and I like it. Perfect. Well, good. Well, we'll uh, we'll sign off to the folks at home. We thank you guys for for tuning in as always, and and for rooting Donnie on in this project. And we'll. Boy, I need a lot of root. <laughs> you you sure do. <laughs> and we'll. We'll come back um, the next step to show them probably the doors being assembled. Yeah, I, I may uh, have you come over and do when I do that other cut on these uh, styles and yep. rails, and then uh, and then on the assembly part. Yeah, you know we'll do a, a section on that. That'll be pretty cool. So awesome! Well, thanks guys. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you on the next one. All right. Take care.